guys and goddesses checking out this video i am seeing the spiritual goddess here for another pick a card reading yes gods and goddesses leave me some ghost emojis if you are here checking out this video to in today's video we will be talking about why they ghosted you why blank ghosted you so insert whoever that is this can be a romantic or not a romantic uh situation this can just be a friendship or platonic situation we are going to get down to the bottom of it this reading is also designed to give you some closure along with a lot of truth and clarity from that other person's perspective so before we get into this reading if you are new here welcome i am c the spiritual goddess spiritual advisor psychic reading i hope you do subscribe if that's something you like to do and also if you do need further assistance if you feel stuck at love or anything like that make sure you guys check out my new psychic package i have healing messages from the heart helping you attract the love that you deserve so make sure you guys check that out there so we have three piles here what I want you guys to do is look at the three piles. We're going to go through it. And I want you guys to take a breath. Take a deep breath. Meditate on this person's energy. And then go ahead and pick the pile that resonates with you. So the first one we have is chair empty. Someone's leaving your life. We have the diamond card. And then we have the reef card. So pick the tea leaf that resonates with you. Pause this video if you have to, and then I'll see you in your pile. All right, pile one, chair empty. Someone is leaving your life. This is fitting um, because we're talking about ghosting. So I did shuffle this for pile number one. So let's go ahead and get into Let's start off with this overall, this person's energy from their perspective. How do they feel about you? How do they currently feel about you? How do they currently feel about Pile One? I got two cards that came out. I want to love you forever. Okay. And I ask about you often. So this person still asks about you. This person asked about you a, a, a lot, I'm getting. So they do keep tabs on you, which is weird because I feel like whatever this connection was, there was genuine love there. I'm definitely getting that. I do feel like it could have paint this person, paint this person to make this, this decision. When they decided to do this, this wasn't an easy decision because of the love that they have for you. That's what I'm getting. All right, I'm going to pull from two decks for this next one. Let's ask Spirit. What was the straw that broke the camel's back? Let's pull the overall energy. Why did they ghost you? What was the straw that broke the camel's back? Why did they ghost you? I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna see what they have said. I'm gonna pull for my lover's oracle. First, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Why did they ghost you from their perspective? Why did they ghost you? Let's see, from their perspective. Why did they ghost you? I'm gonna pull for my lover's oracle and then I'm gonna pull for my tarot. So let's see. Why did they ghost you? Why did they ghost you? Oh, wow. So I feel like for my pal ones, you could be a very genuine and nice person. Like you're very gen generous. And I feel like this person feel like they don't deserve your kindness. 
So what I'm getting from this person, and I'm going to pull some more so far. It's like one of those things that I love you so much and you're such a good person. And, and I know you don't deserve whatever it is that I'm projecting. I'm getting a sense of that. For this person, they felt like they just couldn't do it. I feel like they feel like you could have been too nice. You could have been too nice to them. Maybe they felt like, in a sense, if they stood around, they would be taking advantage of you in a way. Let's get in, let's get into it. And I feel like with that chair empty card, this could have really broken you. Like when you when this person left, you really felt felt it. Whatever this is, whether it's a friendship or this could even be a relationship, whatever it is, I feel like this was very this was a very deep hurt for you. This was a very deep hurt for you. Whoever this is for my power ones. I don't feel like my power ones, this is just like, oh, I wonder what happened to this person. I feel like this. You really probably get given some part of yourself, whether it was a lot or a little, whatever, whatever it was, you've given some part of yourself to this, whether it was time or this energy. And you, when this person left, you really felt that you felt that. And let's see. Why did they... Go shoot from their perspective, spirit. And I feel like they didn't want to, but it was like, from their perspective, it was the noble thing to do. Let's see. Yeah, you could have been waiting for them. Maybe this is someone you've been, you was waiting for a relationship. If it wasn't a relationship, maybe it was something like a friendship or whatever. You were waiting on something from them. And they feel like, you know, I don't want you to wait on me. I don't want you to waste your time on me. Even though I may love you or I may have strong affection for you, I know I'm holding you back by me being present. That's the vibe I'm getting. They felt like whatever it is, they would have been holding you back. Yeah. And in their head, they felt noble. Let's get some, um, some more clarity spirit. I want to pull some tarot. Give me some more clarity. Give me some more clarity on why they ghosted them. Give me some more clarity on this person. So we have the justice card. When I think of the justice card in relation to this, I think of like truth. I also think of integrity. I feel like this may be some person. Uh, this may be a person like even though they may have their they're still, they still try to operate from integrity from what they know. It may not be the best that, you know, going ghost may not be quote unquote honorable because it's like, dang, like, you know what I'm saying? You like the way you did it, but from their, from their perspective, they feel like they try to operate from integrity. So instead of keeping or stringing you along or acting like things are aren't what they are or using you or you know whatever they feel like you know what it's just best for me to just go ghost that's how they feel so let's get into what your ancestors want to tell you about this situation let's get some healing messages from what your ancestors want to tell you about this so what does your ancestors want to tell you I just want to tell. My power ones. And leave me some thumbs up if this makes sense. Let me know if you got number one too. I want to hear from you guys. Let's talk in the comments. Let's talk about this. And you know, you know, maybe we can provide some healing messages with each other. This is a safe space. Let me know what happened and let me know if this resonates because you know it helps me better understand you guys and help me better with channeling. All right, so let's see. Let's see. What does your spirit guys want to tell you? What do your spirit guys want to tell you? Oh, 
Ooh, so this gives me, okay, so the card is act as if your partner is here, whether you have someone in your life or not, act as if they're always with you, with you, so you'll always consider them. The way I'm picking up on this from what I'm getting with spirit, you guys may be the type who, whenever this person left your life, you also felt like they took something. They took a lot, whether it's emotionally, whether it's physically, whatever it is. But one thing I'm getting is a little bit of this has to do with self-worth. I'm getting this, when I look at this card, the way I'm interpreting it, your spirit guys are saying, you were who you were and you are who you are with or without this person. It's important for you as it pertains to not just this person or who is to not get your identity so caught up into others. Whether that's if you have someone, whether that's if this person in your life and stand alone. I'm getting that act as if this person is like here. The energy I'm getting is that I am who I am energy. That whether this person, whether I have a person or not. And when I say a person, this cannot just be relationship. This can even be friendship. That I am strong. I am. I have all these gifts that I see in others. I feel like with this person, I feel like you could have been projecting a lot in this relationship. You could have even looked at this person in a way like had them on some type of pedestal where spirit is saying you're really projecting the energy that you already have within yourself. So I think your spirit guides are wanting you to go back within your within you. Like look take from this situation like the good that you see within this person, look at look at it as if as in yourself. That's the vibe I'm getting. I hope that's making sense. Let's see what else your spirit guys wants to tell you about the situation. What else? Your spirit guys are saying in your next in your next situation, whether this is a love relationship or whether this is even a friendship, make sure you get to know the person. I feel like a lot of red flags you ignored because you really didn't take time to get to know this person. Like your spirit guys are saying you may have been taken advantage of. If you were taken advantage of, if you felt like if you feel like that in some way, your spirit guys are saying it's because you may move so fast because out of a little bit out of and don't take this the wrong way, but out of desperation, out of needing like out of self-worth. You kind of project what you want to see in a person versus who they really are. You may project who you want them to be. You may project a lot of the good things, the good qualities where you really have once again in yourself. And it caused you to ignore the red flags. So your spirit guides are saying take time and get to know a person before you, you know, share or give too much information, or even share your heart, whatever that, that means to you. Um, let's see, final card. And go deeper, go deeper is what your spirit guides are saying. And don't allow this to stop you from demonstrating love. Don't allow this to stop you from demonstrating love, but it's important for you to find out what's important to people. Cause it's like, before you demonstrate, like reciprocation is very important is what your spirit guides are saying. Don't, but I'm getting for a lot of you, don't allow this situation to make your heart cold. Don't allow this to mess up things for whoever, whether that's a friendship or a love, whatever it is, is what your spirit guides are wanting you to know. Let's pull some signs. So these signs can be you or this can be uh, related to that person. This is just like extra confirmation. I'm going to pull some signs on who this message is for or about. You could have these placements heavy in your chart. So let's get into it. All right. So who is this for? I'm going to pull quite a few. Let's see. Who is this for? Who is this for? Okay. So 
I'm getting heavy water signs. So um, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. So that could be you. That could be who this is about. Let's see. You could have those placements. Okay. Who is this for? What about spirit? This is coming up Pisces. This Pisces is coming up. This Pisces is coming up tough. So some of you water signs, or it could be about them. Who is this for? I'm gonna pull six cards. Who is this for? Who is this for? All right, I got fire signs. So that's Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Who is this for? This Aquarius, we got Aquarius coming up. Who is this for? Or who is this about, Spirit? Well, two more cards, and I'm gonna leave it at that. Who is this for? Taurus or Libra? Who is this for? Final card. Who is this for? About Spirit. Who is this for? About. Taurus is coming up once again. Taurus is coming up once again. So that's what I have, guys and goddesses. Let me know what you guys think about this reading. I'm so curious to hear from you all. Let me know if you got power one. If you are someone who feels like you're stuck in love and you need more assistance with it, um, I do offer a psychic package. What we do is, and I'll link it below. What I do, what you do is, you know, I have you fill out a quiz. And then based on that, and these are only for people who are serious about love and maybe they feel like they've been stuck in a cycle. I give you helpful uh, advice from your spirit guides and then also a love ritual if that's needed. So if you guys are wanting that, check that out. I am now taking people. These are limited spaces. Only um, I only open this up for a few people. So check that out. So yeah, guys and goddesses, until then, see you in the next video. Peace. Pow number two. So you do have a diamond. It says you'll be receiving or given a precious gift. Now, the vibe I'm getting on pow twos, whether you know it or not, it could be one or two things. This person could have been very generous and used to give you a lot of gifts. But I'm getting pow two. Overall, whether you know it or not, this person ghosting you was a gift in itself. So that's the vibe I'm getting. Let's get into the energy. Leave me a number two if you have, if you picked pile two, because I want to get into some things with you guys and make sure you guys keep the conversation going in the chat as we go, because I will be commenting back and I want to hear you guys' stories. This is a safe space and so we can comment. You know, chat it up about you guys' situation. All right, so let's get the overall energy. How does this person feel about Pow 2? How do they currently feel about Pow 2? How do they... Okay, I got a couple cards that came with. They feel a few things about you. Okay, so the first thing is this person is no good. I'm getting either this person is no good. And the reason why I'm leaning more so versus they feel like you're no good. They could feel like you're no good. But I'm getting more so this person is no good. Um, that's the energy I'm getting. They want to reach out to you. So currently, this person, they definitely want to reach out to you. They want to reach out to you. But I am getting that this person is no good. Um, they want to know more about you. So currently, right now, this person could be someone that's looking on your page. They could be someone that does a cycle. This can, this can be definitely like not the first time that this person has ghosted you. So it could, it's giving me that. I am getting though, this, like, I would be surprised if this person tries to come back. Some of you, it could be a situation you know, during Mercury retrograde, they tried to actually reach out to you. I would not trust that. I would not trust this person. I'm just going to tell you guys that off rip. All right. So let's ask Spirit. What was the final straw? Why did this person ghost you? Why did this person ghost you? 
Why did this person ghost you? Why did this person ghost you? Why did this person ghost you the real? I'm gonna pull for my lover's oracle and then I'm also gonna pull a tarot card. Why did this person ghost you? From their perspective, spirit, what's the real reason? Why did they ghost you? We gonna get down to the truth. This person wanted out. They just wanted out. They felt like the heat got turned up too much in the kitchen. That's the vibe I'm getting. Um, let's see. Why did this person go shoe? 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 Their life, I feel like a lot, of, they have a lot of bullshit going on in their life. Their life is a mess. Their life is a mess. You know, and instead of talking about it like an adult, if I have to be real with you, I feel like they just, they just go ghost. They're, they're giving me flighty type of energy. Yeah. Why did this person ghost you? Yeah, I'm definitely getting like they could be depressed and hurting. They could be going through a lot. Let's get some clarity cards. I'm going to pull a one tarot card. Yeah, this person gives me the type of energy that they lack emotional intelligence and they don't know how to communicate well. That's what spirit is telling me. I'm definitely getting a sense like your spirit guy is saying rejoice that this person has ghost you child. You're not missing out on nothing whether you know it or not. Um, let's see. Why did this person give some further clarity? I feel like this person, this is giving me someone who has a messy life. Also, this person did don't want commitment. If you are in a relationship or partnership by any means, if this can even be a friendship, this person doesn't want commitment. This person also represents, this represents someone who has like their home. They haven't taken care of home yet, whatever that means, or taken care of themselves. So even if this person comes back and I'm going to warn you, pal, to if you, you're not going to get whatever it is that you think you want from this person because they're just not, they're not any, they're no good. Um, and as a matter of fact, let's get into healing messages. Let's get into uh, the healing messages that your spirit guys want to tell you about this situation. What healing messages pal, for pal, to? What are some healing messages? What are some healing messages for how to, what are some healing messages, healing messages? Love who you are. You are divine, delightful, and deserving of wonderful things life has to offer. So why put, look, why put up with this? Why put up with this bull crap that, that this person is giving to you? Why accept it, pal, to? I'm, like, you got to really ask yourself that. You don't deserve that. Love who you are. Stop waiting for, you know, this person to love you and show you how great you are. Because they don't even believe it about themselves. Whether it's a friendship, a relationship, whatever this is. You got to want more from yourself. And I do feel like this person is going to come around. And what your spirit guides are telling you, this is a test. What are you going to accept at the end of the day? Um, let's get let's get one more card. One more healing message of what your spirit guide wants to tell you. Turn on your heart light. Reflect on a time when you experienced real, true love, honest love, uh, honesty. What does that look like? That's what you should expect from everyone. That's what your spirit guides are telling you, Pao Tu. That's what your spirit guides are telling you. You got to want more, Pao Tu. All I'm saying is you can, you can accept the boo-boo juice if you want. You can accept the boo-boo juice if you want. <laughs> Go ahead. That's why I call it boo-boo juice. You can, sell, you can accept the shit they selling you if you want, but that's on you. 
if you allow this person to come back. That's all I'm saying, Paul, too. Yeah, leave me a number two in the chat if you got this child. Um, don't forget to check out the package. For those of you, if you feel like you're in a cycle, and maybe my power too, this is for you. If if you if you feel like you aren't getting the love you deserve, let's say you feel like you're in a cycle with relationships, and you all you keep bumping your bumping your head, and you want some real some real raw advice from a different perspective, from a spiritual perspective, check out my um. Killer messages from the heart reading I have. That's that's a new psychic package I have. It's designed to help you get on track to attracting the love you deserve. And it also comes with a specific ritual guidance for yourself to help you. So I would definitely suggest checking that out. It's a good deal, child. It's a written report. So you will get that sent to your email. I have you answer some questions. In the beginning, this is just for me to get a better understanding of you to help you there. So, yeah, check that out. I'm curious to hear from you all. And, yeah, Pow 2, until then, see you in the next video. Peace. All right, Pow 3. So, we have wreath sorrow over a loss. So, I'm getting um a few things. I definitely feel like for my Pow 3s, this... This ghosty brass with my pal twos, I picked up like it was a cycle that w was never ending. I feel like this cycle is over. Like this went ghost and I don't see, I don't know why I need to tell some of you that I don't see this person coming back or this ever rebuilding. I, I don't know. Spirit is wanting me to tell you that off rip. I might get some power threes that might not like to hear that at first. So if y'all click off, sorry. I do feel like this, the, you were really, you was really, this really affected you. Like, I feel like a lot of you, this could have been almost like a death almost. It's giving me like a death of a relationship, whatever this is. And this really, really hurt you. I feel like a lot of you may be still even grieving over this, uh, over this person ghosting you. So I do want to send my heart out to you first off. I want to send love to you. But yeah, leave, leave me a number three in the comments and let me know how you feel because I do want to communicate with you all so we can talk and just try to get some uplifting messages and I can get more from you. So let's go ahead and um, so yeah, talk along during, throughout this reading. Let's chat it up. So let's go ahead and pull. How does this person currently feel about you? How is this person, how does this person currently feel at this moment? Oh, what is their feelings? How do they currently feel? Okay. So I am tuned in watching closely. I feel like this can be one or two things. This can actually be a person that's watching you from a distance. And maybe you are, maybe for you, you could be the person who's like, no, this is dead. I don't. I'm, I'm done, but I feel like if you think they're not watching you, they are is what spirit is saying. They, they are, they're watching what you're doing. I'm definitely getting that. If you think that if this person went ghost and like blocked you from everything and you think that they're not looking at what you're doing, you're mistaken. This person is in tune. They keep, they may periodically even keep tabs on you. I feel like it's weird because you mean the world to them. Like they have love for you. They have love. There is some type of love there for you that they have. And they're, and they're very sick about how you guys, like how they had to go ghost. They're very sick about it. You could be a cross, cross watcher for one. Not check that out. Um, but yeah, I feel like they're sick about the way that they they had to end but under the deck i feel like either they can't be trusted or they don't trust you for some reason and they could they could not trust you i'm getting a sense maybe they don't trust you okay so let's ask spirit what was the straw that broke the camel's back why did this why did they go ghost on you yeah why did they go ghost 
It could have been a situation where they may have felt, now for a small group of you, I feel like they could have cheated on you or you could have cheated on them. So that's a small group of you all, because I keep hearing that. Um, let's see, let's see, but let's see for the rest of the collective. Because the loyalty is being called into question. So it could even be a friendship loyalty thing also. They felt you weren't loyal. Let's see. Let's pull some cards. Why did they go close? They felt alone. They felt alone in some, some sense. They felt alone. Either they felt you weren't there for them and they got really dark and depressed. I'm getting a sense like that of that. They felt like they was left in the cold. Why did they ghost you? Why did they ghost you? They needed some space. Why did they ghost you? Why did they ghost you? I feel like they may have even, this has given me a more intimate relationship. This is giving me a more intimate relationship. Like y'all could have even had goodbye sex. Like I'm getting that. Y'all could have had goodbye, goodbye Nookie. <laughs> I'm getting that. Um, They still think about it. But for some of you, I'm getting, it's because someone had sex with you. So you could have been a cheater. You could have been a cheater. It's something about your intimate life that made them turn around and they said they couldn't they couldn't have, they couldn't have did it you know what i'm gonna pull a tarot to get let me pull some tarot to get further clarity spirit why did from from the house why did they ghost why did they ghost them from their point of view why did they ghost them why did they ghost them why this is definitely giving me like like some of y'all, they, some of y'all, y'all could have stuck your dick or somewhere else, or you could have stuck your, you could have, you could have been, been doing, doing that thing somewhere else and you didn't find balance. I feel like you couldn't, you didn't find balance. Like you could have been, if not your, it could be, I mean, they was, you know, getting it from all different ways and they didn't find balance. They couldn't find balance. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting power three is more of an intimate thing. They felt, this is how they felt. I'm not saying this is what actually happened, but this is how they felt. They feel like you were, I'm getting this thing like juggling multiple people. That's the vibe I'm getting. Let's see, what does your spirit guys wanna tell you? What healing messages do your spirit guys want? to tell my power stories in the the situation. If it's not, if it's not, um, if it's not you that was juggling, it could be a situation where maybe they were, they have problems juggling multiple people. It could be a situation of that. Maybe this person, yeah. So the message is, receive with love and appreciation. Gracious acceptance is a way to show love. You have to be grateful for who you have, whether this is a relationship or a friendship. Your spirit guides are saying, because I'm getting a lot of you, you may have took in this person for granted on some level. This is how they felt. And the spirit is saying, you might want to take a step back and look at yourself and ask yourself, how do I show love? Maybe I don't show love the way I think I show love. And do something for someone. Give your attention to another. You know what I'm getting from my power threes? Your spirit guys are saying it's not enough for you to just give like the physical. So it can be, maybe you was the type of person you thought maybe, you know, having sex was just good is, is the way you show your love. Or you may have even thought, if it's not that, maybe you you thought like, you know, tangible assets like money and different things shows that you care you know what's the best way you can show that you care for someone is just showing up and being there that's what your spirit guys are saying so remember that 
when it comes to to whatever relationship it is you have to it has love has to be reciprocated all right so let's go ahead we're going to pull some zodiac signs let's pull some zodiac signs for who this could have been about let's pull some zodiac signs Let's pull some zodiac signs. Let's pull some zodiacs. This can be about you, or this can be about that the other person. What's this about? What's this? You can have these placements in your chart. You could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or that person can be it. Um, also, getting Taurus or Libra. Y'all, this Libra is coming up again. This Libra or Gemini or Virgo. That's what I'm getting. So this could be about you. Let me know if this reading makes sense in the comments below. I'm so curious to hear from you all. Also, guys and goddesses, um, if you do feel like you've been in a cycle when it comes to your love life, if you feel like, you know, you just need assistance, like you don't know why you keep going through cycle after cycle and you just want some real advice. Not that advice from your homegirls or your homeboys because you know a lot of times they be just telling you what you want to hear. But if you want it from a spiritual perspective, make sure you check out my reading, Healing Messages from the Heart, Attract the Love You Deserve. Because it's time for us this year to attract the love we deserve, guys and goddesses. Uh, what it is, it's a new psychic package that I have. What it's designed to do, it's a written report. It's designed to give you messages from your spirit guides to help you get on track this, of the love you deserve and give you real messages to help you break free from that cycle. And what I have you do is when you book this, I have you take a little, it's, it's like, a, it's not really a quiz. I have you fill out a short little form to tell me a little bit more about yourself and what you, you're looking for in a partner. And then what I do is I, I send you a customized message from your spirit guides on to help you attract that and a customized special ritual guidance tailored for you to help you attract the love that you deserve. So yeah, check that out. Don't book that reading if you're not ready for the real. This is real. So make sure you guys check that out. Um, the link will be pinned in the comments along with everything else, the tarot decks I use. So yeah, guys and goddesses, uh, I can't wait to hear from you. Let me know what you guys think about this message. Until then, all my guys and goddesses, see you in the next video. Peace.